leaving the green grass behind me. Packing up all of my things. I've got a yarning with questions so deep. I... just woken up and honestly I got here really late last night and um, oh gosh I was so tired I filmed the room of course I already showed you guys what the room looks like and I'm excited because it's a super bright day the weather is as you guys can see there's so much Sun I cannot wait to jump out and you know just go about the things that i already planned to do i woke up this morning i've been on the phone with my people i really miss my babies as usual but you know i'm really excited for the things i get to do here and also the ability to spend time with myself and really refresh and really just kind of like you know explore myself more and also explore, you know, this side of me, traveling, just solo traveling, enjoying myself, and just seeing life on a different shade. And yeah, so, um, unfortunately, I already missed um, breakfast because I didn't sleep until about 4 a.m. We got here about 2, and um, I didn't sleep until about 4. I couldn't do breakfast, but I'm going to get ready now, and then I will be on my way out to do my own other stuff that I plan to do around the city other than that i'm really excited for the things that we get to do you know all the places that i plan to visit i'm excited let's do this yay there are melodies that emerge from my heart songs of love songs of hurt that make a beautiful art but the songs I'll never write I would keep me up at night Cause I'm afraid I love something unsaid Did I make sure I made you Feel like nothing else mattered in the world But nothing that proceeds from these lips Could be sufficient even if I managed to say all I felt But is it possible to let you know that I don't want another day to go by Without you in the songs that I write Everything has been used and worn out Every note, every word I'll go a similar route But if I could summarize That pair of eyes in a sentence I would never grow tired of the phrase Did I Okay, so I'm fully dressed For day one And I'm about to jump out I just wanted to show you guys my outfit So I'm wearing this sandal I got from the brand called Biba it's really cute. My LV never full, forever faithful, and the it's white two piece set that I absolutely love. Although it's very annoying because it has this crinkle, like rumple effect, but it's fine. And I have on these tiny pearl earrings that I got a while ago. I can't remember from where, maybe H and M or Zara, and of course some jewelry. And yeah, so I'm off. Come with me guys, let's go and have some fun! So I'm making my way to the ATM. I'm trying to go and take some cash out just to be sure that, you know, as I'm getting on the ferries, I'm able to pay with cash because I find that um, some of these companies or these people prefer to, you know, take cash. So I'm going to the ATM. 
I really like it because it's very sunny and it's so warm. It's so nice. I absolutely love it. There are melodies that emerge from my heart. Songs of love, songs of hate that make a beauty. So I find a couple of UK brands. I find Super Dry. Um, there is next. I've also passed through Olan and Barrett. And that is the HSBC bank I'm going to to get some money right across the road. I made you feel like nothing else mattered in the world. But nothing that proceeds from these lips could be sufficient. Even if I managed to say all I felt. Is it possible to let you know? So Zara looks a bit bad. Quiet, nothing like you, hey Zara. Everything has been used and worn out. Every note, every word, I'll go a similar route. But if I could summarize that pair of eyes in a sentence I would never grow tired of the phrase Did I make sure I made you feel like nothing else mattered in the world? Nothing that proceeds from these lips could be sufficient just stumbled upon this really cute bar where they have live music and everything just looks pretty oh i think i'm going to even stay here and probably like have a quick meal without you in the songs that i write Nothing that proceeds from these lips. Have a lovely day here in the beautiful city of Valletta and now enjoy the show. Enjoy this Ladies and gentlemen, we hope that the gun was loud enough and that you've enjoyed today's firing. May I kindly suggest that you give a good round of applause to our boys in uniform for their splendid display. May I also remind you that the salute and natural is open for visiting and that you can reach it from the stairs at the back of the balcony or the side gate in Battery Street and nothing that proceeds from these lips could be sufficient Even if I managed to say all I felt But is it possible to let you know that I don't want another day to go by Without you in the songs that I write So this is the lower Baraka garden, quite peaceful, much more quiet than the upper, and less people here. But if I could summarize that pair of eyes in a sentence, 
I will never grow tired of the phrase Did I make sure I made you feel like nothing else mattered in the world? Nothing that proceeds from these lips could be sufficient Even if I managed to say all I felt Possible to let you know that I don't want another day to go by without you in the songs that I write. was one of the places I saved the pictures that I would want to take a photo so I'm so happy to come here eventually I've literally been walking around trying to find it now I have and yeah really excited and the Sun is oh so beautiful Ooh. the view around me is spectacular that is where I've been coming from so everywhere is pretty close to each other really so I've pretty much just had a really nice time the pictures here are amazing and the view behind me can't go wrong can't go wrong with that love 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 every bit of it i'm just gonna turn around so you guys can take it all in like i'm doing right here i absolutely love the city so easy to find my way around i mean maybe that's because of the kind of person that i am i'm constantly asking questions which i really don't have a problem with and yeah really and also because i also did a lot of research before coming here so i have like specific places i wanted to visit and i'm doing exactly that so that is the lower baraka garden everything i've done today has been maybe 90 percent free and i've had so much fun taking so many pictures and loved it so day one absolutely amazing do i recommend obviously yes <laughs> <laughs> Finally, food. I'm seated by the roadside and just waiting for my food to be ready. I am so tired and I am so hungry. I cannot wait. But while I'm waiting for that, I also have a glass of rose to just chill with because honestly, I've had a really nice day. Pack it up all. Of my things I've got a yarn and with quest. So this bell at the lower Baraka Garden is referred to as the Great Siege Bell and I have some information about it I'm going to share with you guys. Stick with me. Yeah. So I'm taking a quick tour of the restaurant um, where I've just eaten and the host is kind enough to share a few information with us. First of all there is this big picture of Valletta in the store and he also has a thing to say about the great siege bell which uh, is in the lower Baraka garden so tell us about so the bell great siege bell being opened by the queen 1995 
and uh, it's a memorial bell for the Second World War for those soldiers that they died. My grandfather was in the Navy, and the uh, first time the Queen was in Malta in 1978, if I'm not wrong, 1978. Um, uh, Sorry, 1954, 1978, we opened the shop in here. So, the Queen in Malta was 1958, first time. Uh, my grandfather was in the Navy, I have a picture in there. That there is the Queen passing from the soldiers, and one of them is my grandfather, he was a sailor. Um, uh, from the information that I have, he have, he have medals that uh, they told me he was a good man. And uh, he was a good man. I miss him a lot. Um, you know, Valletta for us, the picture that you were showing a bit before. It's, it's our religion. That's our religion. It's in our blood. So Valletta is it's us. You know, we have, uh, even the people of Valletta. We have a bubbly, we are hyper. But, you know, we are good heart. <laughs> we like to help. Um, like everyone else, you know. But Valletta for us is our religion. Thank you very much. You Thank you. <laughs> That's my grandfather. Oh, okay. That's my grandfather here in the Navy. That's his medals. That's me and my grandfather mm. in here in the shop. That's so how old in total? How old is this shop? This shop it was opened in 1978. Oh, wow. So it's, it has been passed down to you by, by your grandfather? Yes, yes. Mm. So not to me. My grandfather passed it to my father. My father passed it to me. Oh wow! And my brother too. Oh wow! That's good. Well Thank done. You. Thank you. Well done. The food was really good. Thank you. Thank you very much. If you find yourself in Malta, you definitely should stop by. I'm going to put the information about this restaurant somewhere in the description box down below. Just in case you find yourself in Malta at the Lower Baraka, you definitely should stop by. The spaghetti was amazing. Thank you for having me. Hello, London. <laughs> Good morning guys, it's day two and I'm fully dressed. I'm going to show you guys my outfit in a second. Ready to go out. I have a long day. I'm going to like different places today and I need to take you guys there and also because I need to fit in a lot of the other things I have to do today because I leave tomorrow. So I'm fully dressed now. I'm going to switch the camera, show you my outfit and I'll just be on my way out. It's pretty early. It's about eight o'clock in the morning and I'm fully dressed. I'm ready. I gotta go. This is my outfit. I'm wearing this two piece from um, H&M and I'm carrying this basket bag I've had forever I think I bought this from Topshop back then I can't remember and this meal from Desire 1709 fashion and I'm fully ready makeup done I'm wearing this um, neck piece let me come closer so you guys can see what it looks like very simple that's the same one I was wearing yesterday and my rings and just pretty much you know of course with different glasses today because why not let me show you guys what that would look like so i have that on and i absolutely love this green tp set i totally love it and i'm just hoping that it allows me to really jump around because honestly wearing trousers yesterday was super easy but yeah we're ready to go that's what i look like i will see you guys outside so i'm in the taxi so i had to book e cab because trying to get on the bus was going to be really long i am on my way to the fishing village it's called massage lock or whatever it's called i hope i haven't butchered it but i'm on my way there and i'm really excited because you know i had this alternative option of using taxi um, as compared to jumping on the bus yesterday i jumped on the ferry which was super cool but today they do taxi moves it costs more money but at least it ensures that i get to do all the things that i plan to do at least knowing that i have only today and then you know leave in the morning tomorrow so yeah we're going to the fishing village and from there i also have to go to gozo i'm going to jump on the ferry i'm really excited it's a packed day but let's do this there are melodies that emerge from my heart songs of love Songs of her that make a beautiful art But the songs I'll never write I would keep me up at night Cause I'm afraid I love something unsaid Did I make sure I made you 
Feel like nothing else mattered in the world. So I'm currently in Masha's Lock or whatever it is that it's called and it is really beautiful. Right behind me there are boats. I'm gonna just go closer so that you guys can see. Loads of boats um on the water. Okay, so the camera keeps um Zooming just me in. I'm going to turn the camera onto the waters now. Ooh, but nothing that proceeds from these lips could be sufficient. Even if I managed to say all I felt. But is it possible to let you know that I don't want another day to go by? Without you in the songs that I write Everything has been used and worn out Every note, every word I'll go a similar route But if I could summarize the pair of oh, That looks like something that Adam Asha is going to like it's made from wood and it has all of these colors on it and it says motor at the back. I might as well just buy this as souvenirs for my babies. I just hope Asha doesn't piece it apart very soon but I think they're going to like that one and I'm going to buy it. Oh yeah, how much is that? Which one? This one. ninety-five Euros? Yes. So if I'm taking... If you like, I have the small one. Oh, can I have a look at the small one? Yes, and there they are. Oh, okay. So there are some smaller ones. Oh, I think that looks more portable. Oh, wow. Say, Hey, you're better. How much is a small one? Five ninety-five. Oh. And this is look, seven ninety-five. The big one. Yeah, very nice. Let me see. Hey. Let me see the very big hey, one. This is the big one, like that one. I have the green. I have the yellow, I have the orange. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm going to take maybe one big one and a small one. Yes, which color do you like? Leaving the green grass behind me Packing up all of my things I had a really nice time in this place taking so many photos it was so much frustration with people just walking into my picture like like three times i almost just beat someone but it's been nice i think i'm just gonna get on the bus to go back to valletta i'm not sure if this one is going but let me find out On the bus back to Slema. I've had a really nice time at Massachlock and I'm on my way back to find my way around and see if I can still make it to Gozo Island today and just do whatever bare minimum I can do before I return back to the UK tomorrow. You guys have had a really nice time. I've enjoyed the whole of today. My makeup is still popping and I absolutely love this solo traveling. Is therapeutic for me. I don't know about anybody else. Aside from the struggle of trying to take my photos by myself and all of that, I enjoy, you know, just spending time with myself and just exploring, finding new stuff, and just being a tourist in a city that I completely do not know. So I'm going back to Slema now and I'm on the bus. Something's waiting for me Go to the top of the mountain so high Where my spirit Sadly, we're currently waiting. The bus has stopped. The driver says he has to go on his break and so we have to either get off or wait for another bus to come. This feels weird, like... 
That won't happen in England. The driver is going to make sure we get to our destination before he goes on break. But obviously, when you go to Rome, you'll be able like, Roman, oh, sir, they do things differently out here. So just in case the bus stops and you're wondering why, please don't bring, you know, that UK entitlement and say, oh, the driver has to get me to where I'm going before he goes on break. That doesn't work here. So we're just all waiting. And hopefully another bus comes really soon. But it's a little bit annoying, but what can you do? Nothing, but wait. So we're waiting. We're currently waiting for bus 81. Sadly, the buses take forever to come, but it costs just two euros. So really, can't be mad about that. Just gonna wait a bit longer. Hopefully they come soon. So I've gotten back to Valletta. I'm trying to make my way down to the ferry um, point where I can jump on the ferry to Gozo, hopefully. So I'm basically just walking and just looking around if anything catches my attention. I think I want a drink. Let's go and buy some drink. So I settled for ice cream and I'm just going to buy myself some. Oh, I'm just thinking maybe I'll buy a slushie actually. Hello. Hi. So can I have it mixed or I have to take just one one flavor? Okay, so how much is that? Uh, the large is 350 and the small is 250. Can I see the cups? Yes. Large and small. Okay, I'll take the large one. Oh that is a lot more water. Is that a big cup? Yeah, big. Even the green grass behind me Packing up all of my things I've got a yarn with questions so deep I think that mountain holds the key just being by myself and trying to just explore and find things by myself and not worrying about if somebody's catching up if somebody is going to come if will somebody like to see what I want to see it's my opportunity to literally be curious and be a child again and I'm not gonna give that up you guys so I'm going you guys remember the tower that I showed you guys from the beach so basically Behind me, I'm going to have to turn the camera. Behind me is the beach. So if you guys can see, that was where I was before. I was right there before at the beach with everyone else. Now I've walked out of the beach and then I'm walking to the tower that I was showing you guys just right there. And that is the Hajin to Fiaha Tower. I just want to go and see what it looks like. But also, I'm just looking around, seeing like beautiful spring flowers, you know, popping up and just appreciating life, honestly. Like, that's my main reason. I mean, it, it might get lonely, but for somebody like me who has lived with people for so long, lived with people around whom, you know, they pretty much, how do I explain it? It was almost like for so long, I couldn't do a lot of the things that I wanted to really do like just be curious you know so now that i have the opportunity to do it and you know i'm not letting that go because i enjoy it i find that i'm able to think well you know i free my head space my, guys this journey is a bit so i'm just taking it taking it easy you know i'm able to free my head space i'm able to do things at my own pace i'm able to love what i love without worrying if somebody likes it i'm able to like something without feeling like 
somebody is not going to like it. I don't care if anybody doesn't like it right now. I don't. The question is, do I like it? What is my intention? Because that's why I say to myself, when I start to get like some sort of vibe about things that I want to do, I just ask myself, are you happy about this? How do you feel about this when you go to bed at night? Right? And then the, one of my biggest question is, how are you going to feel in five years if you don't do this thing? And you know, these things, these questions help me to make my own decision and I just do my own thing. So, just in case you're thinking of considering solo traveling, this is your cue to try it. I tried it once and you guys, I can tell you guys for free that this year you guys are going to see a lot of travel vlogs and videos from me. I'm just getting started guys. I'm just starting. So, I'm just like a few meters away from the tower now. And um, of course I'll take a picture, record a bit of what's happening there and that's all. But the view of the hotel from here, wow, it's magnificent. I have to show you guys. So, that is Hachin to Fieha, the tower itself. The amount of steps I would have taken here. Eh? I love it. The view from here is beautiful. Like, just standing here. I'm looking everywhere, north, east, west and south. What a like it's really good. This is what it looks like from this side. You guys see that beautiful sunset. Oh my god, the wind here is crazy. I move back so you guys can see it very well. That's what it looks like. Stunning. And then the surrounding view is like my undoing right now. I absolutely love the view. I'm just going to turn around for you guys to see everything I can see. It's really, really nice. There are melodies that emerge from my heart. Songs of love. Songs are heard that make a beautiful art But the songs I'll never write I would keep me up at night Cause I'm afraid I left something unsaid Did I make sure I made you Feel like nothing else mattered in the day out no regrets i'm so tired but i absolutely had a nice day so back to the hotel but is it possible to let you know that i don't want another day to go by without you in the songs that Ooh, you guys it's barely four o'clock and i'm off to airport why is that swollen? Because I haven't really slept, but yeah, it's all right. It's time to go home. I'll go a similar route. But if I could summarize the pair of eyes in a sentence, I would never grow tired of the phrase. 